All right, my friends, so uh, let's get started on the partial fraction decomposition here. I'm gonna start by just factoring the denominator. Let's see, what do we have? X plus four times X minus one. And then the form would be a constant over X plus four uh, plus a constant over X minus one. Now, if your form looks just like mine, but A and B are switched around, um, it's it's fine. And in the end, what I get for A, you'll get for B and vice versa, And but we'll back substitute in our, to our form and get the same answer when it's all done anyway. So um, anyway, from here, I would, um, you know, act switch modes to acting like I'm adding fractions. So multiplying the first fraction by this version of one and multiplying the second fraction by this version of one, like so. Um, then I'm just gonna go ahead and simplify the top. So I'd have ax minus a plus bx plus four b over, and then the denominator would be just x plus four times x minus one. Okay, so at this point I have won the denominator battle. Now it would just be a matter of forcing the numerators to equal each other. So forcing 6x plus 5 to equal this expression here. So 6x plus 5 would need to equal. Now I'm going to group the x terms together and factor the x out. So I'd have a plus b x's, and then I'm going to group the constants together. That would be the opposite of a and 4b. All right, and that leads to a system of equations because a plus b must equal six. And negative a plus four b must equal five. Like that. And so to solve this system of equations, I personally would just add the rows together since the a's are already opposites. And I should make that more obvious. There we go. I'd end up with 5b equals 11, and then divide both sides by 5, and you end up with 11 fifths. Um, and then to figure out what a is, I would back substitute right there. Um, 6 right there, the 6 is equal to 30 over 5, and that would equal a plus, and b is 11 over 5. Then you could just subtract the 11 over 5 over, um, and you'd end up with, what would that be? Is that 19? Okay, um, then your last part is to go back and back substitute these two values into your form and then get your final answer. So the conclusion would be 6x plus 5 over x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to, okay, so a is 19 fifths. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the compound fraction. So 19 fifths and then times a one over x plus four, basically. So you'd end up like that if once you clear the compound fraction. And then b is 11 fifths, so put that in. And you'd end up with that. So this right here is the ideal answer, okay? So points along the way, if you need some partial credit, we'll give you one point for getting the form right and then one point um, for getting the B value, or actually, well, you wouldn't either A or B equaling 11 fifths, and then the other value equaling 19 fifths. So one point for getting those two numbers uh, for each of those. And then uh, the last two points are for getting the final answer right, okay? If you didn't clear the compound fractions, like here, if it says 19 fifths over X plus four, and this here it says 11 fifths over X minus one, then you just take off one point. So there you go, that's your five points for that one. All right, my friends, now let's look at part B. Anytime you have an improper fraction, you wanna make sure that you um, write it in mixed fraction form using long division. So let's get started. So x squared times x, um, and then let's distribute that completely here. So x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x. And subtracting that, we'd get negative x squared plus 3x, and I'm going to drop the plus 1 there. 
Okay, and going through that round again, so now we'd have negative one here, we'd get negative x squared minus three x plus four, and then subtracting, we'd end up with six x minus three. There we go. Okay, so we now know that the original fraction is equal to this expression right here. And then the only reason we're not done is because we actually haven't done partial fraction decomposition on anything. So the point is to take this remainder and then find its partial fraction decomposition. Okay, so then 6x minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and factor the denominator as x plus 4 times x minus 1 form and then we'll basically just start like getting common denominators so when you get to the part point where you're setting numerators equal to each other you should have a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 4 all times all equal to 6x minus 3 and then from there um, you'd get 6 would have to equal a plus b and negative three would have to equal the opposite of a plus four b. All right, solving the system of equations, you could simply add the two rows together. You get three would equal five b, which means b would equal three fifths. And let's back substitute right there. Um, six would be 30 over five, equals a plus three fifths, which means a, would equal 27 over 5. All right, your final answer would be that x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to x minus 1 plus... 27 over 5 times x plus 4 plus 3 over 5 times x minus 1. Whew. All right, let's find out where the partial credit is if you need it. All right, we had five points all together. You're going to get two points for using long, for knowing that you should use long division. So evidence of long division, even if you messed up the long division, you get two points for showing that you knew to do it, okay? Um, you're gonna get one point for getting three fifths and one point for getting 27 fifths for your constants. And then your final answer would have the whole part and the fractions as well is worth the last point. All right, my friends, so all together, that's your five points. All right, last one. Let's just go ahead and take care of it right now, shall we? All right, so for this one, uh, first for the form, you'd have a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared since you had that repeated linear factor. Switching to adding fractions, make sure when you add these, you're getting this denominator, not x minus 1 cubed. So for that reason, we take a over x minus 1, and you just need to multiply that by x minus 1 over itself. And then b over x minus 1 squared, it wouldn't need to be multiplied by anything at all because it already has that denominator. So then all we'd have ax minus a plus b all over x times, or sorry, all over x minus 1 squared. Okay, so now, uh, now that you've won the denominator battle, now let's win the numerator battle. Okay, so what do we know? We know a must be 5, first of all, and then we also know that negative a plus b must equal negative 2, and since a is 5, you could just add the five over, so you'd have b is three. So your final answer would be that 
5x minus 2 over x minus 1 squared would equal 5 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1 squared. There we go. Okay, five points. You get two points for the form. You get one point for getting five for one constant, one point for getting three for the other, and then one point for getting the partial fraction decomposition written correctly.